After a reported uh, child abuse case nearly slipped through the cracks, a law could soon change. We first showed you this video yesterday of a nurse hired to care for a disabled child pushing over the girl. After the video was released, the nurse was arrested. And now News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen reports the Department of Children's Services has reopened the case. As a concerned mother, Giovanna Williams took this video to the Department of Children's Services back in August. They closed the case, citing a policy violation. She told me yesterday she felt strongly this was abuse. But unfortunately, when the story got out, I'm not the only one like this. After the video was made public, Clarksville Police arrested a 44-year-old nurse identified as Melissa Weiner for aggravated child abuse and neglect. DCS says they did not release their findings to police initially as they're not required by law to report non-severe abuse cases. I don't know what would constitute non-severe in that. I thought it was severe considering the child's condition. Former lawmaker Sherry Jones says what happened in the video could have serious consequences for 12-year-old Sunshine Williams as she has cerebral palsy. I'm surprised that DCS would not want to turn it over to the police department because the nurse, the professional that was committing these crimes should not be allowed to continue practicing and maybe commit those same crimes on other children. She believes there's a disconnect between DCS and law enforcement. I know that the police, when we talked about it before, felt there was a serious uh, a lack of communication. Today, DCS told me they have reopened the case based on new information. State Representative Jason Potts wants to change the law so that DCS is required to report all abuse to law enforcement. I think it sounds like the legislation needs to be changed and addressed. He says it's imperative that child abuse cases don't slip through the cracks. We definitely want to make it right. In Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.